Welcome back to another video. Hope you are having a great day. And today we've got here a huge solar panel. Take a look at the size of this beast. This is officially the biggest solar panel that we have seen here on the channel for these kinds of devices. If you are looking for solar panels which are bigger but not for cameras, then search for solar on the channel and you will find a lot of cool stuff that we have done here. Now we have this camera here which has at least two interesting points. One is it doesn't need a direct connection to electricity because it has an internal battery. We will talk about that in just a few moments. And the other one doesn't require Wi-Fi because the communication of this camera is with a SIM card like we use on our phone. So it will communicate over 4G or 3G LTE. So a really interesting kit that we are going to take a look. Let's go for it. So these are the package contents and one of the things that surprised me was the solar panel which is actually two parts so we just need to put it like this and it will make the connection it's quite large so i'm really curious to test it out because with this size it should power on the battery fast and even on areas where you don't have a lot of sunshine with rain and so on and so forth i'm going to face it down so that i can just show you something the way that we will secure the panel is we will use this plate we will put it right over here and then it will be doing the connectivity and there are a few screws right over here here that we will screw so that it will be secure. In terms of putting it on a wall or on a ceiling, wherever we want, there is this stand which we will mount with these two holes. I still haven't removed the cover right over here, but these two holes will secure the panel right over here. And then this part we will put on the wall. And basically that is it. We will then be able to rotate and tilt it backwards and forward so that we can put on any angle. In terms of the connection of the panel, it's really simple. We just need to connect one to another and then this one right over here will connect to this cable which will then connect to the camera. So really straightforward and regarding the camera, basically straightforward as well in terms of assembling. Uh, we have this back plate here which we will put on the wall that we choose this side up and then we just need to once we screw it to the wall just put in the cameras like this and then there are four uh, screw holes right over here which we will put with our hand i've seen the screws right over here are these black screws that we can see here so we can screw with our hands it also comes with all this paperwork so in case you never installed anything on the wall then you probably might want to read that but if you have installed something then this will be really really easy in terms of the build quality it feels good the plastics are not the best that we have seen but it doesn't feel cheap it feels nice for a camera with waterproof which we are going to test out because it is raining these days now right over here at the bottom we will find uh, waterproof once again with this protection reset button the sim card which comes included with a card with 100 gigabytes available for seven days but for more info check the link down below that i will leave so that you can read everything according to your location and so on and there's also the micro sd card slot which will accept cards up to 128 gigs right over here we will find the uh, dc in for the usb type c cable that we have just seen and i need to grow my fingernails we need to leave it like this and open just this area so that we can fit the usb type c but leave it waterproof so that we don't have any issues whatsoever now over this side here we just need to open it up and we will find the on and off button which is a physical button we just need to press on and we have battery here i'm not really sure how much remaining but probably enough for the installation which is what we are going to do now so this video is going to be a bit longer because this is the first time we are using a shiga camera so what we are going to do is we are going to take a look at the app in a little bit more detail so i will leave some chapters right over there so if there is a part of the video that you are bored just jump to the next one or if you don't want to watch everything today just come back tomorrow and watch that full part of the app which i believe that it's very interesting and important especially for those that are pondering to acquire a device such as this which by the way it's really really easy to install
So installation done, as we have seen, just really straightforward. We just need to decide where to put the camera and then we just need to decide where to put the solar panel. Easy as this. Even being big, it will be able to fit on almost any place. Now, the size, we can talk about the size of the panel. In my opinion, this is not information from Shega or anyone else. I believe that 20 watts in a solar panel such as this is a lot. And it's a lot, I believe that it has a reason, because here there is a 20,000 milliamps battery, which is great as well. If you search for a power bank with 20,000 milliamps, you'll see that they are not cheap. So, the camera needs a lot of battery and it will need a lot of power from a solar panel such as this one because it has one option which is not easy to find on this kind of camera and that option is the 24 hours recording so it will record like the nvrs that we have with full sets of cameras it will record 24 7 to the micro sd and to the cloud optionally and for that it needs power now the other reason that i've seen was that during days with rain the solar panel has a great efficiency. So if we live in an area, which is not my case, here it doesn't rain a lot, but if we live in an area where we don't have a lot of sunshine, this panel is a great option because it has a lot of efficiency and it has a lot of space for the device that we have here. And now that we have talked about the solar panel, the camera itself, it's built, I wouldn't say of premium material. It's not premium material, it's a nice plastic. I would say that it's acceptable plastic probably above average of what we have seen in comparable prices. So the materials are good and the design looks nice. The antennas that we can adjust, but I believe that it doesn't matter the direction that they are because the signal is great as we will have the chance to see on the app. It has four LEDs here at the front and I did test them out during the night and they can cover a lot of area. I didn't measure, but my uh, backyard right over here has 275 square meters and it lights quite a lot so <laughs> great leds right over here and some of the footages that i did record i was actually having a bit of difficulty to record because the leds are so intensive that uh, if you are looking directly at them then you will be a bit blinded which is not bad at all if someone tries to go to an area that it shouldn't by the way we can disable the leds if we don't want them to turn on and use only the infrared in terms of the image quality it records at 2K, which is the maximum resolution. Of course, it's a 2K that it's not a 2K like the camera that I've got here, which records at 4K. But if I recorded at 2K, the image quality would be a lot higher. This one records 2K, 3 or 4 megapixels, I'm not really sure, but the specifications are down below on the link that I will leave. And in terms of image quality, what I can say is that while watching on my phone, it's great. And I believe that this is what we are going to use. Nonetheless, for comparison, I always place here the images that I record in full screen and having in mind that this is a 2K image upscaled to 4K because our video is 4K resolution. So so when comparing devices that I've got here on the channel, please have that in mind. Also, I haven't seen the images myself on the computer, so I'll be watching them previously a little bit before you do. In terms of the quality that I've watched during the day, just awesome. And then during the night, there are two modes which the camera will manage automatically. Uh, it will light up the LEDs and it will give us a color image. And if it uses the infrared, like when we are very far away, then it will use the infrared and we will have a really nice image as well. But we will take a better look at the image quality when I show you my phone. It is waterproof and although it doesn't rain a lot here, in Portugal where I live uh, sometimes it rains like it did yesterday and like it did today morning and I usually enjoy better to test out this kind of device on the natural environment with real rain than what I do in the summer that I have to use a hose or something like that so in terms of waterproof it's well built we saw this when we did the unboxing the only reason that I can see water coming in here on anywhere is user error. If I don't put in the rubber that it's here to protect the enter, then probably there will be moisture, there will be water coming in. But if I put it nicely tight, then 
No way. And I want the app so that we can see how easy it is to use it. And one of the questions that I had is that we saw it comes with a SIM card. And if I press right over here, cellular data query, it will show me the 4G plans that we have available. Now, depending on the country that you live, I live in Portugal. And honestly, I'm not aware of any of the operators available that practice these prices they all are a lot more expensive for unlimited data packages right over here for example if i subscribe for one year for unlimited uh, data usage and we are talking about video then we will have right over here 100 euros which is about eight euros and a half more or less per month but if we subscribe to the 24 months then it's about 7.5 euros so once again depending on the country that you live might be worth it to have another operator or this one right over here which is easy as just for charging this service as it's a package it comes with the sim included so really easy and straightforward and of course if we are sure that we are going to use this for one or two years then totally worth it now that aside uh, we have some shortcuts right over here this is where we can add more devices so if i want to add more cameras via wi-fi or via 4g we can do that right over here if i get in the menu we will have options that we will see before we go into the menu there's also a few shortcuts down below for cloud video which i just activated a few moments ago and it was by mistake because i wanted to see the prices i didn't find so i activated the trial uh, which is for 30 days and then we also have the customer service in my information so let's go to the devices and if i get into the devices the first thing that we can see it's at this moment is sunshine but it was raining a few moments ago yeah, i can change the quality from sd to hd which is what it's at this moment we can see that 4g signal is great four bars out of five the battery is charging and one of the you can see by the symbol right over here where there's a lightning near the battery which is fully charged and one of the things that i wanted to share is that i believe that the solar panel is so big so that even on cloudy locations like it was this morning it's able to capture the energy and charge the cameras so we won't have any issues whatsoever because it charged really fast one interesting thing as well is that you can see that eye over there with one it means that only one person is viewing this feed and at this moment it's only me so i can share this with anyone that has the app but at this moment it's only me watching so this is also really nice now besides the cloud which is right over here i also have a shortcut here so that i can move the camera we can move uh, we, for one way or for the other one we can do roughly it's not 360 i would say 340 more or less uh, and it will also let's go down here we will see my ladder and also a hose because i had to do a bypass one of the hoses got stuck always happens between summer and winter and we can go up to here so this is the angle that we will do and in terms of sides almost 360 so great even the delay it's not that um, big as you could see and we are with 4g which is awesome the quality that we get is awesome there are also shortcuts right over here for uh, enabling or disabling sound i can use my voice to talk to someone that it's on near the camera so i can talk from here and i can listen the person that it's right over there so these are the shortcuts that we can see one of the things that it's interesting is that when we talk about video quality and usually i show the images that i capture on this device on a 4k screen like now what happens is that the image gets stretched but this resolution that we have right over here this is what we will use on our pocket and honestly it's totally acceptable really really nice having in consideration which is not wi-fi it's through 4g which is great so let's move back to vertical so that we can move on so these are basically the shortcuts that we have there is one more right over here which i can change from cloud to sd card so i do have an sd card inside which is capturing images and if we go below here we can see that someone was <laughs> getting rain this morning and i was capturing some footages to share to that side of the screen and enrich the video you know how i work 
right over here so we captured a few images now we can see some of them are network wake up and some of them are activity detected so it detects uh, activity and it will trigger and it will record automatically which is one of the options that we have another option which we will see here on the settings is also uh, be able to record 24 7 which is not very common on this kind of cameras we can see that on complete uh, sets with nvr and cameras but on standalone cameras is not very common to find and here we have that possibility and i just got out of the device and besides being able to check out what we have here for the day i can go to the calendar select any day that we have recorded for example yesterday press ok and it will show me the activities that we had yesterday so if i go to one right over here it will say that i was doing something I'm not really sure what i was doing but we can see well that it was me so we have this easy uh, way to navigate now if we go to the options so that we can see what we have right over here we can rename we can check the storage if it's being used or if it's full or not we can also flip the image there is the vision mode which at this moment is normal which means that if we go close away to the camera it will light up those strong leds and it will make like daylight so we will have color but if we are far away then it will use the infrared infrared uh, night vision mode we can select only a night vision mode but i prefer to leave it in normal and the camera will do everything by itself also on the activity detection we can enable high medium or low in terms of the settings and if we want motion detection or not i've got everything enabled on high so that it detects when i leave the office and when i arrive there's also the scheduled recording we can select a period to record or not to record so we can at that but probably more interesting here on the cloud video duration we have 5 10 or 20 seconds and full-time recording so 24 7 recording and this is really awesome to see on a standalone camera which is not very easy to find only on regular nvr with um, cameras on connected to those nvrs but here we have that option having in mind that if we select full recording we will no longer have the activity recording because it will be recording 24 7 so that's one of the probably limitations that i would see in terms of the alarm we can also enable and then power frequency which we can select between 60 hertz or 50 hertz led indication if we want to have the led on or turn it off sync time which we can synchronize the time with our phone and basically that is it in terms of the app itself i find it and probably you as well but let me know down below in the comment sections easy to use and that is it so a simple camera to use from start to finish unbox it just decide where we want to place it ta -da, connect with the app and that is it now i did find interesting the data plans that shega has available because at least where i live I'm not aware of any carrier available to us that charges what we saw about 7.5 euros per month to have an unlimited data plan for GLTE. This is great. The signal is also great. I did test it out right over here. No special place at all. It's just where I live. And as you saw, I had four bars of signal from the five available. So I would suggest if you are going to purchase this kind of device or this one exactly, take your phone to the area where you are going to install the kit. And if your phone is capable of having 4G, then this will be capable of having 4G as well. So although it will be an extra expense that we will need to purchase either from Shager or from any other provider, I would say that if you have an area where you have Wi-Fi coverage, then you can decide on a different model and you can check out down below in the video description for Shega devices with Wi-Fi. But if we really need to put it on a remote location where we don't have any electricity or any Wi-Fi coverage, then this is a great option in terms of the price for the quality that we get and even for the carrier that comes with Shaker. I would kindly ask any of you if you are aware of any other carrier that can give us a data plan unlimited for the same price or below if you could down below in the comment section leave the carrier so probably not to help me but to help out the community that comes to this channel looking for this kind of product and then finds more solutions especially in terms of the carrier here in portugal where i live there isn't anyone providing a data plan 
unlimited 4G for less than 7.5 euros. Far from it. That being said, hope that the video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.